What is the craziest thing you guys did as a couple? When are you guys going to get married? Look. Lannan and I are very excited to announce. Oh my god. That's pretty funny though. We've had some adventures. We have. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today I'm here with my beautiful boyfriend, Lannan. Hello. We are doing a couples Q&A today, and this is actually our second one. Our first yep. one is on Lannan's channel from two years two ago. Two years ago. I barely knew her. And it was my first time on camera, so it was a bit awkward and... You're still... Like, I love you, yeah. but you're still awkward. <laughs> I know, but I'm better. Like... Yeah. Let's go. I want to know your burning questions. Yes. Like, when are you going to have babies? Um, That's literally every second question. You would have submitted that one. I didn't have to. First question. Have you ever thought about breaking up? She tries to touch my butt a lot and I don't really like it. So in those moments, yes. But it's very fleeting moments. How about you? Have I ever thought about breaking up with you? It's okay. You can just say no. I'm thinking, thinking about it. You can just say no. Um, Cause my answer was kind of a joke. So if you answer seriously, I'll be a little upset. No. I haven't. How long have you been together? Two and a half years. Big question. Who is better at Minecraft? I oh, don't know, man. I killed the Ender Dragon oh, two know. years ago. I, I killed it the other day, so... Depends how you look at it. I will say I'm a better builder and I think my world 100%. is prettier. 100%. So... Well, you had a nice pretty world. I had a big dong. So I did have some cool shit. Yeah. But you did have a nice couple stuff which was destroyed who destroyed it wasn't me i now remember what it was, wasn't on, it wasn't what was the question have you ever thought of breaking up with lannon <laughs> that's what? what i was trying to think of who is more cuddly uh depends on the day i'd say normally ilsa i have my moments yep um even me little rubs of encouragement they're doing good they're doing good for Lannan, would you rather never be able to kiss Ilsa again or have your icon skin removed from Fortnite? I'm looking at my skin over there. Uh, uh, I like my skin. I'm keeping my skin. Girls have germs and cooties anyway. I, we've never kissed. So that's all good. No. Ever think you can get in a cat? No. Next question. I want to get a hairless cat. <laughs> What is one thing the other does in front of you, but no one else? Walk around naked. That would be a crime anywhere else. I tend to like being naked. You meant to say something I do. Oh, well, yeah, oh. I, hope, I hope I'm the only person you walk around naked in front of. Yeah, of course. What I don't do I do? know, because you kind of fart and do whatever around everyone else anyway. You don't yep. really... Boundaries don't exist. No. <laughs> I don't cry in front of anyone else. I think I've only ever seen you cry three times and they're not very good cries. Well, it's because my eyes don't produce moisture properly. So yes, oh. I do have a problem with that. I want to cry all the time. My eyes just won't let me. Hmm. <laughs> Who is most likely to want to have kids first? Well, Lannan and I are very excited to announce that we are going to be adding a third to our family this coming summer. Chungus. Oh, <laughs> I was like, not how I want to yes. find out. Not how I want to. We're gonna get. <laughs> not. If that was it's a dog. dog. It's a it's dog. A dog. Not a fat baby. It's a dog. It's a dog, but it's going to be a baby. It's our baby. His name will be Chungus. Yes, a little, little chunky boy, a little thick boy. I'm gonna get him a little pram. No. Gonna take him on walks. That, yeah. Gonna get him a little high chair so he can sit at the table with us. We're very excited. Isn't that right? Ba, ba. When is the breakup video? Would we do a breakup video? Oh, mate, the views. I don't think we'd do a dedicated video. Maybe like a little what? intro. Guys, welcome back to this TikTok reaction. By the way, dumped her. She's gone. Um, all right, so now to the TikToks. How has life been since moving in with each other? I'd say it's good. When you need a hug, there's someone to give you a hug. You know, you have a private place to talk shit about other people. Just get to see each other all the time, which for me is great, but she probably hates it. How would you feel? I like it. That's good. 
I'm trying, yeah, to, I'm trying to elaborate. <laughs> um, oh, I like our morning coffee walks. That's pretty cute. God, we're such boring white people. What is the craziest thing you guys did as a couple? Um, She ruined my passport in a Las Vegas bathroom. Because I put it in the shower. Well, okay, so we were wasted. Mm. She threw up on the ground near my pants without knowing my passport was in the pocket. She put it in the shower to clean the pants and then left the shower on and forgot about it for six hours. And I woke up. And was like, the shower's on. Why is the shower on? And I walk in there and my pants are just on the ground. I'm like, oh, that's fine. Took them out. Next day, I realized my passport was ruined. We had an international flight home the next day and I ruined his passport. But we got through it. Vegas, baby, Vegas. How many children? I think we both want four in an ideal world, but that's mm. obviously a lot to ask. It's a lot, um, and I'm sure we don't know until you've actually got them. Yes. But we both come from families of four kids. So I think we like the idea of that. Does Lannan ever paint or draw with you? No. Uh, I think actually, the I remember the one time he did draw with me. We were like sitting in the park and Lannan takes my drawing book and he's sitting there like drawing me. And there are these couples like, oh, that's sweet. There's this man like drawing his girlfriend. And then they'll like walk past and look back at this book and it's like a stick figure. Just... <laughs> Does Lannan snore? And if so, does it keep you awake? No. You do a little bit. No, I don't. Say. You actually, you were last night. It's not bad snoring, it's kind of cute. Oh, and you do these little like, which is like, I feel like what people like do in cartoons where we just like. Well, I wasn't going to say that you <laughs> snore, but you actually do sometimes. So I was not going to tell the world that, but yeah, no. Yeah, cool. What is your favorite kind of potato and how do you like it prepared? You. It's like, thank you, but also, is that a compliment or not? <laughs> what other potatoes are? <laughs> well, there's sweet potato, there's white potato, there's baked potato, there's chips, there's gnocchi, there's... You are a sweet potato because you're sweet. Aww. What kind of potato am I? You would definitely be normal, like, white potato, crinkle cut fry. Okay, so you just call me an average white thing. I, you're a crinkle cut fry. That's very that's special. I'm not even a special potato. I'm just a normal potato. Crinkle cut. When are you guys going to get married? Look, she's good, but, you know, that's a big commitment. If you're going to do it, you got to do it special, but you've also got to be sure, you know? <laughs> and uh, I was sure before this recording. Who's always the first one to wake up? I think true. there might be less than five times in our entire two and a half year relationship that you have woken up before me. Yesterday was one. I woke up before you. You got up out of bed before yeah. me. Yeah. Very different. Best date together. They're all just so good. <laughs> well, I was actually going to go with us getting glass. I don't want to tell the details of that story, but I did have a glass thrown in my head and also it hit Ilsa. Ugh. I only got a little bit. Oh, that looks pathetic. Yeah, it's barely a scar anymore. It is. It is barely a scar anymore. But it was my birthday and um, we were bowling. It was 10 minutes into your birthday and my face was just covered in blood. In hindsight, very funny. In the moment, um, I could have lost an eye. And we got a great couple photo out of it. Should have got it when I had more blood on my face. I know, though. I know. Like, I can't, I, a lot better. The, the photos that you can see are like so basic. It looks like a scratch on my head. Yeah. But I literally look like I'd been mauled by a bear. Yeah. It wasn't no our fault. No details. No details. <laughs> it wasn't our fault. Oh my God. That's pretty funny though. We've had some adventures. We have. Can you guys do any good impressions? What's going on, guys? Do you want to do impressions of each other? Oh. Hi guys, welcome back to Minecraft. Today we are going to build a sheep farm. We're gonna get some sheepy babies and I'm gonna go look for a pink sheep because I just love that. Cute sheep, love sheep. All right, now lays me. I'm bored! <laughs> I'm bored! Yeah, I mean, that pretty much is all what my channel is at this point. <laughs> Who has the bigger boobs? Tell you what, I was getting pretty fat for a while. COVID hit me hard. I was getting some major man boobs. Honk, moves. Honk. You good? Yeah. Is there anything you would like to change from each other? I Is there? Each other. It's just going to sound so domestic and boring, but if he could put his cups in the dishwasher and remember to take the bins. 
How boring are we, God? We are boring white people. We have yeah. absolutely no problems and it's disgusting. Hmm. I don't think there's anything I'd change. Oh. I think she's perfect. I could not imagine what else I could possibly ask for. You fucking annoy me sometimes, but that's healthy. That's not your yeah. problem. That's my problem. Yeah, I take it back. If you remembered to take the bins out, that could be a bit too perfect. We need a little bit of conflict in our life. Yes, I am pretty perfect. Who's older? Uh, bro, she looks great, and I look like I've had um, a multi-year-long addiction problem. That's not true. Uh, I'm almost 27. I'm 26 and a half years old. Uh, uh. I'm 23. Uh. And a bit. Do you guys stand or sit when you wipe your ass after pooping? I'm a sitter. I've never quite understood that how people stand. It feels like you would squish your cheeks together a little bit too much for my liking. I agree. I don't I don't think you could clean yourself as well if you're standing cuz I've never met a stander. However, I will say alternate. Uh, I'm a big fan of if it's a little too messy, just hop in the shower. <laughs> Easy, mate. It's easy. Next question. I said, he's still simping. <sighs> I've said it before, but real men simp. Simping gets a bad rap, but anyone who doesn't simp is alone, and being alone sucks. So wake up to yourself, young men. Respect women and love them. They are better than us. And women can simp back. I've, I've never experienced it. I feel like I... Nah, uh, not to the same I don't, degree. It's, it's hard to simp as hard as Lennon. Lennon's a big simp, but I love him. Love him for it. Nah. Love you. Well, I love you too, that's the point. <laughs> you want me to get you flowers? We've talked about it. I just don't have anywhere to put them. I can put them in a vase for you. How much time do you spend with Lennon? A lot. How did you pull Lennon? He is clearly out of your league. How did I... Well, I, so on the oh night we God. met, I went up going over the same thing. It's she, been said. She was in wearing a this million. goddamn beautiful yellow dress, and she also stalked me all night. Now I'm a socially awkward person, so if you want to impress me, it helps to be way too like into it. Really, just creep the person out with how much energy you're putting into stalking them and giving them attention. It makes it, the stalking, the stalking makes it sound so weird. The yellow jumpsuit was nice. I was feeling, feeling myself that night and he wasn't giving me any attention. I thought I looked pretty that day. So Let this be maybe. a lesson, <laughs> you know, just don't but ignore it, women. He wasn't and trying to be cool. He was just too I'm just awkward, awkward to say hi. <laughs> How is the Free Guy movie doing? I think it's finally coming out August, I think they announced. One day you'll see me in a big Hollywood movie. Yeah. Um, don't tell anyone, but Ilsa definitely stole little bits and pieces. Oh, on set? Yeah, they, they don't care. It no. wrapped up like two years ago. I regret not stealing more. Because it was, yeah, this like set with these legit people around. And how many times is this going to happen? I wanted to like steal yeah. all the souvenirs, like the trailer sticker, the sticky notes. Maybe like, don't I go want... specifics. Maybe just say you stole. <laughs> well, I'll some... tell you what I didn't steal. I didn't steal his outfit. Yes. No more details. No because... more details. You, you're leaking. You're leaking. I'm not leaking. We've got to be careful with details. Okay. I regret it. Next time I go, I will steal everything. <laughs> if COVID was officially over, where is the first place you two would like to travel to? Switzerland. All the French out, same, same. Mm. I want to sit in a hot tub on the top of a snowy mountain overlooking a valley with snow-tipped mountains with hot chocolate in one hand and a nice pastry in the other as I sit there in my hot tub. That is my dream. No. Sorry, I have a very specific answer for that. No, I like it. <laughs> specific is better. Who's the sore loser and the sore winner between you two? I don't care at all if I lose to Ilsa and she it's the worst thing in the world to her. Yes. We lost it. I beat her at chess once and she oh didn't speak God. to me for the rest of the night. No, it's because I am a sore loser, but he's also such an unsatisfying person to lose to. He'll just lose and be like, oh, good game. And I'm like, you just lost. Show me some emotion. Or if I win, I'll just be like, good job, Ilsa. Here's what you did well. <laughs> yeah. If you showed that you cared that you lost, then I wouldn't care. But how do your parents feel about Lannan slash Ilsa? My parents like her more than me. The way my parents talk about you is like, oh, Lannan's it's, it's good you found your soulmate already. Now you don't you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> I'm like, alright, had what? Alright, cool. My parents also love Lannan. 
My mum, especially, I would say. Dad does too, but mum loves him to bits. Rod thinks I'm weird. <laughs> he did say that. Which is fair. <laughs> that's no hate to Rod. That's completely fair. Like, in a nice way, like, in an endearing way. He's like, a bit of a weird one, isn't he? And I'm yeah. like, yeah, but, like, so am I. And he's like, well, true, you're both weird, so it works. <laughs> All right, that's been our couple's Q&A, uh, both wearing pink. Clearly, we love each other very much, and we are perfect, and you should subscribe and like the video. Yeet. Yeet. <laughs> Yeet.